The scratch collapse is a provocative test for nerve compression and is one of many examination techniques used in the diagnosis of nerve injuries. There are minute details in performing a scratch collapse that can help with the interpretation of the diagnosis. The use of ethochloride allows for a hierarchical scratch collapse that can reveal and discriminate additional sites of compression. This video describes a hierarchical test in a patient with mild cubital tunnel syndrome with a primary scratch collapse at the medial epicondyle. The use of ethochloride reveals a secondary site of the flexor carpi ulnaris followed by the antibrachial fascia, which includes the Guillain's canal, deep motor branch of the ulnar nerve, arcuatus struthers, thoracic outlet, and finally the parascapular muscles. Okay, so this doctor's been complaining of ulnar nerve symptoms. You can see her function's pretty good. Separate your fingers, cross over. Um, just subtly less cross on this side than this side, but definite. Pinch for me here. Um, this is what I call pseudofromans. So you've got this hyper extension here and it's more neutral here. Pinch hard. Um, this, this DI is a little softer, sorry about that. Um, now, relax now, mm -hmm. spread apart. Push your baby fingers together, just the tips, and push hard, who wins? Both the same. Um, so does this feel good over here, normal? Yeah. Yeah. So call this 10 out of 10, what number would you give it here? It'd be like a nine. A nine, ten. Nine. Nine, okay. Um, so not bad. Now, what are your symptoms then? And numbness and tingling in my little finger mm -hmm. and sometimes throbbing at the elbow. Okay, so good. All right, so resist me. Now I'm gonna go uh, to um, this ulnar nerve here as a control. Just getting strong. Guillain's canal here as a control. Uh, Struthers. I'm feeling a little bit there, mm -hmm. strong. Um, above the elbow, good. At the medial epicondyle, a little bit going there, mm -hmm. strong. And then at the FCU, not so much. So your medial epicondyle, mm -hmm. boom, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. strong. If I go to the FCU, no. And then just for my baseline, Struthers is negative, proximal to the wrist, negative, Guillaume's is negative. So the first on you is right here. Now I'm going to get rid of that. So now I want to, um, can you cover up FCU for me here? Yeah, so I just want in here. Okay, good. Is this me? Now I'll go to your, behind your medial epicondyle. You're good. Struthers. Good. A little bit there. See you really down there. All right, so net, so now comes out. Good, get rid of FCU and that point here. So I've frozen her from here to here. Strong Struthers above the medial epicondyle, deep motor branch of all. I'm kind of pushing there, right here. Isn't that interesting? It's very interesting. It's interesting, you know, you can't believe it when you see it, yeah. and then you think, wow, okay, so now this is going out here. Okay. I'm also making sure when I'm touching you, I'm not dragging ethyl chloride onto you. There we go, there. Yeah. Strong. And Struthers. Good. Okay, deep motor branch out. Okay. Median nerve in the middle, or ulnar nerve in the middle of nowhere. Ulnar nerve behind the elbow. Thoracic outlet. Struthers, down. Resist me. High up in the axilla. You're good. Just above the elbow. You're good. Struthers, you're down. Oh I know. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Okay. I'm a biker too, so I know that, like, I'm. Pounding. Like, pounding. Pounding a lot here. This okay. was bothering me. Let me get day. rid of your struthers because I'm wondering something else here. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Good. Now, um, right here on the anterior scaling. On the middle scaling, there you go, where your plexus is. So this is un this is not unusual, mm -hmm. you know, loops and down and tight mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Don't we'll take out your thoracic outlet here. Okay. 
muscles. Yes. <laughs> I bet you. I bet I would be the same thing. Mm -hmm.